Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to the Project 31 podcast. I am your host, Randy Maul, and I am so excited and so thankful to just be in your ear today. Um, I wanted to kind of bring today's episode to you. I know I wanted to talk about securing the bag, but before we do that, just reflecting on this past year, as we get ready to enter into the very last month of 2018, it has been one heck of a ride. We came into this new year excited, pumped, ready for God's goodness, gracious, and all that stuff. Some of us have had some some good days. Some of us have, have had some challenging days. All in all, we can look back and say, I made it. I'm still here. Even if it's by a strand, God, I thank you that you helped me see today. So what I wanted to do for the next 31 days, I want you to pray with me. The Bible tells us that two are better than one because when one is overtaken, the other one can help them up. I understand that prayer has always been one of the more challenging aspects of being a believer because sometimes you feel like you don't know what to say. You know, it's easy to feel like God doesn't hear you or whatever the case may be. I want to silence all of that and I want us to enter into the new year in power, in prayer. I said, listen, December 2018, I didn't come here to play. I came to pray. So I hope that you would join me for the next 31 days as we tackle different um, subjects, different topics. I am receiving prayer requests from my social media outlets, people, you know, that just want, want to come in agreement. The Bible also says that if two or three agree of, on anything on earth, according to his will, we will have it. It tells us that if we bind anything on earth, it will be bound in heaven. If we lose anything on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. That's the type of power that I'm talking about. That's the type of access that I want us to tap into. So maybe you don't have the strength to pray on your own. Maybe you can't formulate the words, whatever it may be. I pray that as you listen, that you will receive what God has for you. I pray that even the next over the next 31 days, your prayer life will be ignited, that you will be encouraged to just go ahead and go to your prayer closet, to create a prayer closet, to create a prayer journal, whatever it is. God knows what we need before we even pray, but he still wants to hear us say it. So listen, when I say I'm praying for you, I'm literally praying for you, okay? Get excited, get encouraged. If you are not subscribed to this podcast, make sure you subscribe. If you know somebody who may need to be encouraged in this holiday season, pass this podcast along to them. Maybe they may need a few prayers that's going to be released in the atmosphere. It's so awesome how prayers aren't limited to where we are. I am in the comfort of my office releasing prayers into the atmosphere and God is able to meet you right where you are. So even before I close this intro out, Father God, I just thank you for every person, every person that's listening right now. Lord, I pray that you will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Oh God, I thank you for everything that you have done for us. Oh God, in this past year. And Lord, I thank you for what you have prepared for us to come. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for every mountain. I thank you for every valley. I thank you for strength. I thank you for courage. Lord, I thank you for peace. Lord, we thank you for the good days and we thank you for the bad days. We thank you because you're God of all. So Lord, I pray that even as I prepare to go into this next season in prayer, that you will protect us, that you will lead me, oh God, to say the words that someone needs to hear. Father, I pray that the words will fall on good ground. Lord, I pray that someone will be encouraged, that they will be lifted up, that they will know that you do not make any mistakes and that you have everything under control. Lord, I just thank you for every listener. I pray that you will bless them in this season as we walk out of 2018 and prepare for the new year. I thank you that you're making all things beautiful. In Jesus' name, I pray amen and amen. Be sure to stay tuned for the next 31 days as you pray with me.